Sam, as a storyteller yourself, uh, what tips do you have for job seekers whenever they're going to networking event, as we talked previously, or whenever they go to interviews or whenever they go to career fairs, how can the, te the storytelling technique they can use in order to kind of sell themselves or present themselves that they are the unique and they are the good fit for the job? Sure. In uh, just uh, last year, I did a TEDx talk at uh, Langara College. And what I talked about in, then, in, that con in that TEDx speech was, how do you make the voice within louder than the noise around? And what's important in that concept is, we often will talk about what we do or what we can do. Mm -hmm. Instead, the real important part is, let's understand who you are. Now, storytelling is really that capacity to tell people who you are. And uh, it, again, so many people can tell you what they do, but very few people can tell you who they are. And I'm not talking about meeting somebody and doing a resume conversation of, hi, my name is Sam, I'm an educator, and I teach at Simon Fraser University and go down a list. Instead, it's about having that elevator pitch, that, that uh, comment about, uh, that intrigues people to want to ask you more. And the way that you can build storytelling is in 2011, I did TEDxSFU on storytelling, and I came up with an acronym called CARPE, as in CARPE DIEM. Mm -hmm. So CARPE stands for Curiosity, Appreciation, Reflection, Perspective, and Experience. <clears throat> storytelling is about going forward with curiosity and having a curious nature. Appreciation is the second one, and it's about appreciating yourself and understanding uh, that you bring substance. R is reflection, meaning think deeper, like journal and understand what are some of the key things that make up your foundation. So reflect on that. And perspective is we all have these perspectives of who we are and what matters to us. Mm -hmm. And the last one is experience, meaning you have to capture all of those things together and categorize it as an experience Otherwise, your story dies an untimely death. So if you're going to a job interview, my recommendation is journal. Think about it. Don't just go into the interview blindly, mm -hmm. but instead, look at what you've done in the past, the jobs you've done, the courses you've done, social, what you do in your spare time. And journal and say, not just journal what you do, why is it important to you? Use examples. And you would be amazed at how much substance you will create that can help. But the idea of the storytelling is it's very, it's very important to have these stories because you don't just want to tell someone your resume. You want to tell them why and who you are. Especially storytelling is very important because you can connect with the audience or you can connect with the recruiter or the person you're, you're interviewing. And it gives them an idea, the whole package, and not just like being as transactional as we have discussed in previous video. Yep. And it also enables the conversation to happen as opposed to the standard interview, because they will be intrigued by, you know, the conversation. For me, for example, when I go to an interview and someone says, well, tell me about yourself. I say that there are five things that guide and direct me in life. Servant leadership, story sharing, activator, igniter, champion, enabler, community do-gooder. Let mm -hmm. me explain and expand on each of those. And it intrigues them because you're mm -hmm. not just giving the standard answer. Yeah, that's for sure. Again, thank you, Sam, for sharing that. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of storytelling or that will help for job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. And tune in next time for my final question with Sam.